I'm going to replace the refrigeration on Snow Goose. And it works, but it uses a lot of power and it's noisy. And the motor, or the compressor, lives in this little locker here. And that's an older unit, and I'll take that out. And then the copper lines and the wires run into the box here. And as you can see, the lines come up through a hole in the ice chest. This is a great, well-insulated box. Obviously, Grand Banks did a great job in the day, you know, super overbuilt and super thick. This is the holding plate. That'll come out. And those are the wires that I was just mentioning. So the whole idea now is just to take it apart, measure the lines, and then give the guys at Seafrost a shout, give them the dimensions, and then they pre-package everything. They cut the lines to size, they fill the lines with the gas, and cap it. And that way, when I put it all together, there are very unique couplings where you can even take them apart and the gas stays in the line, connected up to the motor and onto the plate, and then you're good to go. So it sounds pretty straightforward. So um, that's the project, and um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. And as you can see on the right here, we have the condensing unit, and this contains the compressor and the condenser. And this is Seafrost's BD unit. These are designed to go into a small little locker somewhere where you have access to fresh air. So the fresh air does not come from outside, but comes from within the cabin. So you'll have a little a door here with a, a four inch pipe that takes the air from the cabin, comes in here, cools the condenser and the compressor, and then pushes it out through here. So you need to leave an inch and a half between the bulkhead and the X where the air comes out, and then it'll go straight out again in a different little louver in the door. So that's this unit, and this has, like I said, the compressor and the condenser. Over here, we have the evaporator plate, and this relies on a thermal convection to work, which means we'll mount this up against the wall in the refrigerator vertically, and that way with thermal convection and the plate off the wall a little bit, you'll get this air circulating, the cold air will drop down and it'll cool all the food and it'll warm up and it'll come to the top of the box and so you get this really nice cycle going. These are the copper lines, so the refrigerant lines. They are pre-charged, so they have the refrigerant in them. They have quick release fittings. So all you've got to do is install the plate and run the copper pipes from the bottom of the holding plate down through the hole in the box around under the city and into the white box which houses the compressor. So from here I can regulate the speed of the compressor if I want to slow things down a little bit and use less electricity because everything in the box is already pretty cold or if my batteries are a little low or whatever. So I have control there and then I can set the temperature as well. So this is something I'll, I'll find a spot for. There's a, a template in the drawings. I'll cut a hole, mount this in. It's connected to the condenser unit with a wire, as you can see, plugged straight in the back. And then there, there are two little sensors. One goes against the plate, and that tells this unit, the thermometer, what temperature the plate is. And the other one is for the box. And this will go in the middle of the box somewhere, not too high, not too low, not too near a door. So between these two readings, this unit can tell me what's going on and what kind of temperature I have in the box. So it all seems pretty straightforward. And from here, I'll take everything to the boat and get started. Well, I've completed the installation of the new refrigeration system. I wanted to put a new system in here because the old system was noisy, it, it used a lot of power, and it wasn't really making the box any colder. It was, it was cooling it down, but it wasn't very efficient. It was so easy to install. Great instructions from Seafrost. How, firstly, how to measure everything, give them the details, put the whole thing together switch it on, and Bob's your uncle. It couldn't have been easier. 
So I'm psyched. We're going to have cold beer, cold milk, cold butter, fish, whatever, and, um, and using very little power and being super quiet. So good stuff.